So I don't know what to think of this next one. Maybe you can be the judge if you're watching instead of listening. This was posted on a Facebook group. It's a used mattress. Okay, already not off to a great start. It's a gross-looking used <laughs> twin mattress Oof. with not just one or two, but I would say several significant stains. Now, when you think of a stained mattress, what do you think of, Carly? I mean, there's only about three things that I usually think of. I mean, and that's usually pee, blood, or ejaculate. <laughs> ejaculate. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of that one. Yeah. <laughs> Usually when I think of hotel rooms, I think of that. Sure, sure, that too. Yeah, it does it does tend to stay topical. But also, have you seen this trend of like young men who don't have bed frames or fitted sheets? It's just a mattress on the floor with like a flat pillow and a blanket that's too small for their whole body. In this economy? <laughs> well, especially in this economy. Right. Oh, <laughs> yeah, geez. Just, no, I have You know, not. some young men out on the... Out on their own for the first time, they just, their standards are just so low for themselves. Well, yeah, I've seen the memes where it's like some dudes think this is okay, and it's right. it's a TV on cinder blocks. Yes. I mean, it was my that was my first apartment. Oh yeah, of course. You no, know? and then the guy gets a girlfriend, and he's like, "Y'all just live like this? Like this is so nice, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, right." I I would say it would behoove some men to allow themselves <laughs> to become domesticated. Right, right. But Guys, yeah, like, it's okay to sit down to pee. <laughs> right, but like their girlfriend will bring over like a fitted sheet and like a full size comforter and they're like oh, what sorcery is this what have you done <laughs> did you not have a mother <laughs> yes and maybe you didn't maybe uh and and i know there are different socioeconomic levels even in idaho falls but this, sure. this is posted in a for sale group and somebody listed it for a dollar i think yeah which i think they just did it to you know get, attention. get it out of there yeah right well, the comments were hilarious. <laughs> you know, and I also, I really do understand putting a mattress up for sale just, you know, I, for I the don't. sake of... I don't. I think that's like um, donating used underwear. Yeah, I kind of get it. Mattresses are sort of different, Especially though. one with, I mean, generally speaking, those stains on that mattress are... Probably pee. Probably bodily fluids of some kind. Especially from a twin mattress. Like, it's probably a kid's mattress that they totally wet the bed in. That was one of the comments. Yeah. Why does every mattress that has stains on it look like pee stains? <laughs> Reply, it's a kid's mattress. It is pee stains. Yeah, right, right. Another comment, you can't clean that. Reply, not with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. I think they're, if you're in a situation where you genuinely cannot afford a mattress and your only option is to you know, get a used one, then there are things that could be done to the mattress that could make it serviceable. So yeah, I, I understand. I don't, I don't think you, I don't yeah. think you can clean that. Not with I, that attitude. <laughs> 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 and that's the thing. You also don't necessarily have to clean it. You just have to cover it. I just know I would struggle to throw away a usable mattress. So I understand the folks who posted it. Other comments. It needs a match. <laughs> Other comments. Haven't you people heard of washable mattress protectors? Ooh, Honestly, yeah, man, I, that's the way to go. And, you know, who got on a live on that? CSI <laughs> needs to talk to you. Looks like a decomposition stain. Oof. You know, when people die on a mattress, that there? happens. <laughs> uh -huh. It's true. It's true. Yikes. But my two favorite comments were, that's the good side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good point. <laughs> Yo, well, oh. Show me the other side. Right. <gasps> And then also tell us you want someone to haul this to the dump without telling <laughs> us you want someone to haul this to the dump. And I get it. I know, Carly, mm -hmm. you really are a resourceful human being and you like to, um, you'd rather donate something than throw it away. I would, yeah. I'm a terminate it with extreme prejudice. It is no longer serving its purpose in my life. Well, and also, <laughs> if you are someone who needs a mattress, you can actually apply to get a brand new one from the DI. Oh, oh, can you? Yeah. Like I did not know It's still new that. in the packaging. Yes. You know, a lot of people don't know that, but they actually do have relatively, they have either cheap or free brand new furnishings. That's great. I so, mean, yeah. If if you've got a mattress that looks like this, you I wouldn't even donate it, honestly. No. I know there are some people in need, but I wouldn't. Yeah. Just, I wouldn't donate used underwear. Right. Used I get socks. It. I get it. I mean, I think used socks are, depends on how bad the person before the... <laughs> Who had them was. Right, yeah. If they're yeah. high quality wool socks that right. you've, you know, fallen out of love with, sure. Right. Yeah. But uh internet you did not disappoint on this one. 
See, I love a good comment se- section. <laughs> you know, people are so witty. Oh, man. <laughs> And, and even in our own comment section, we've got some interesting ones this past week. We have a couple of them, yeah. 